Alright guys, Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and today's video shows off the Expresso K1 chassis and I have all of the electronics installed now. So this thing is definitely nearing completion, just waiting for the body and the wheels to arrive so I can get the thing painted up and then get this thing out on the smooth concrete and see what it can really do. Now. I have put in some pretty good electronics. Um, some stuff that I had um, here at the RC Network just kind of laying around, and then other things that I bought specifically for this build. So in this video, I'll show you exactly what electronics I chose for it, and also how it looks installed inside of that K1 chassis from Expresso. So two items that I had already here at the RC Network were the ESC and the motor so right here is the reedy black box 410r uh, fully censored brushless uh, esc super capable actually probably uh, overkill for this particular build so i had it here it was already soldered up it just made sense to just trough it on in so it should have no issues handling the express ok1 with that i did have soldered up to it was a 7.0 turn Reedy Mach 2 motor. Now, I know this is way too much motor for this uh, rear wheel drive drift car, but I put on a pretty low pinion on this, and I think just with some good throttle control and programming, I can control it with that 7.0. Now, two, three new things um, here at the RC Network, definitely the batteries. Running some new Gen Zace batteries. These, this is the Shorty Pack, uh, 4,600 milliamp, and it is a 60C and 2S 2p battery uh, pretty pretty nice battery overall and i uh, probably won't use it specifically for this build but definitely for some race vehicles too and two other items here from yeah racing one is the aluminum high stability gyro uh, that thing mounted on perfectly on the k1 chassis and it should help me control the drift a little bit better than uh, my meager drifting skills with that also the hack gear low profile servo that thing fit in perfect. It went right up to the top of the bulkhead and it should have some pretty good um, specs. So uh, seven kilograms is the amount of torque and at six volts, it operates at a 0 0.08 second transit time. So very well specced servo. All right, so as it sits right now, the K1 chassis is pretty much all buttoned up. Now, the only thing I have not installed right now is the receiver, mostly because I'm waiting for the body to arrive. My initial thought is to mount it over here on the far side of the ESC, but I also had a thought to mount it up here on top of the servo. Since it's a low profile servo, I just wasn't sure about um, not only the height of the receiver, but then the wires sticking up and how it'll interfere with maybe the hood line. So waiting to get that item in before I actually go ahead and mount and kind of wire everything up to the receiver. But here is how the K1 chassis looks with all the electronics. And I've got to say this thing is, is it's solid. I mean, overall it is, it's, it's a brick when it comes to the amount of weight and such a confined little space. So uh, right here, you're checking out the uh, 7.0 turn Reedy Sonic 2 motor. Um, great motor overall. And I think, uh, you know, the 7.0 is, is way too much turn. I would probably choose a 17.5 a or maybe even a 10.5 at most uh, for this rear wheel drive drift car. But it, it does a good job and I think I can program it to uh, tame the amount of turn down. So um, right up here on the, um, you're seeing on top of the carbon fiber little shelf that's included in the K1 chassis is the uh, Yeah Racing Hack Slider Aluminum Gyro. This thing is, is pretty cool. Haven't programmed it at all yet. I just need to get it uh, kind of fired up once I get the receiver on. Here's a look at the Gen Zace battery. It fits in there perfect. You can kind of see here, um, you know, if you mount a stick pack in, it's going to stick out way wide. It's almost going to be like a, um, I, I don't know exactly what, but almost like a cantilever system or something, or, uh, you know, like a catamaran boat or I don't, I don't know. But um, I think the, the shorty pack makes sense for this small of a chassis. So Gen's Ace 4600 uh, milliamp and it should have some pretty good power. Now inside here, tucked way inside is gonna be the 410R black box from Reedy. Um, it fits in there perfect. It's just the perfect amount of space to clear the battery and clear the steering rack. And the capacitor right here, the capacitor bank just barely fits on. You can actually see on the underside here where it's kind of sticking off just a little bit, but I don't think it'll be an issue. So 
On over here to the other side, you can see all my wires coming off uh, ready for the receiver along with the uh, the servo wire up here. I'm gonna have to route that through, uh, but just waiting to get the, the body in so I can make that decision on the receiver placement. So it should be good. Ultra long batteries. I am going to shorten these um, here soon, but like I said, I wanna get that body in to see if I even need to. So. We'll have to see once that body arrives. And then up here at the very front is gonna be that hack gear servo, low profile servo, great spec servo. I mean, it should do pretty well. Metal gear, 0 0.08 seconds, seven kilograms. So it has a, a fairly long lead on it. So I may have to shorten that. We'll have to see what goes on. So, well guys, that is a quick look at my K1 chassis and the electronics that I put into it. It should be a great build. I can't wait to get this thing driven and show you what it can do. Well guys, any comments or questions, feel free to post those on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.